Hi guys, I just finished watching the new Riddick movie, and I'm going to give you some of my thoughts. I'm trying and keep this spoiler free, just so you know. Okay, so, I feel like this movie did an excellent job of taking some of the movie's other strengths and putting them together, because... First of all, we got the uh, tense atmosphere that we had in Pitch Black, and then the issue of all of the major characters having to trust each other. But we also get a little more input as to Vin Diesel's, like, background, but also some of the better uh, character interaction skills that he demonstrated in Chronicles, because in Pitch Black... While Riddick tells them things are like this and this, I feel like in there, he's just more of a supporting character. The main story is actually about everybody just simply trying to get off the planet. In Chronicles, the main story really is Riddick. So, here, it seemed to be a bit of a blend, because while the main focus is Riddick, we do get focus for some of the other characters, and... We actually do get some good moments where we feel for a couple of these characters and get to know their interesting personalities because we have the slightly skittish kid, we have the professional killers who just interact like typical criminals slash mercenaries would. We have, um, what's her face, uh, the girl who plays Starbuck in the new Battlestar Galactica series who... Turns out to be a pretty interesting side character to look at here. While she doesn't get as great interactions with Riddick as the other main females in this franchise have, she did pretty well. Uh, I also like how all the funny one-liners of Riddick moments come back in here because... Well, I just love seeing Riddick deliver his crazy one-liners and then do some pretty great killings and... To everyone who remembers the teacup scene from Chronicles, if that's your favorite kill, <laughs> this one's got to kill that. I bet it'll debunk that one instantly. Trust me. And I was a little bit surprised at how well the, uh, shall we say, anti-hero of this movie interacted with Riddick. Those were pretty interesting discussions, and I kind of fell for both parties. You know who I mean once you see the movie, okay? Um... Honestly, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give a few quick thoughts and leave you to it. I will say this, though. As of right now, I'm actually thinking that this is my favorite Riddick movie because of all the strengths that it blended from the other movies and just how much I felt for the characters, both Riddick and non-Riddick characters. Not to say that I didn't feel for non-Riddick characters in the other Riddick movies, but it just felt better here. I can't really explain why. There is one dislike that I have, though. I'll spoil this one fact for you. We go back to being on one planet in this movie, okay? So I was a little disappointed that we didn't get to see more of the universe, but who knows, maybe the next movie will do that, because there is going to be one more movie. Let me tell you, because unlike how Chronicles ended, this movie leaves great potential for a sequel, and I have no doubt that they're going to make one. So, there you guys go. Enjoy.